Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making banana nut bread. So to start with, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees because this will be in there for about 50 minutes. To a large bowl, you are going to add 3 fourths cup of granulated sugar and a half a cup of butter. And we're going to use a mixer to go ahead and incorporate that together and fluff it up. This might take a couple minutes to do. Make sure that as you're doing this, you get to the bottom of your bowl and do the sides. Now as we're doing this, we are adding into this one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which we're going to mix again after we add it. And then we're going to add two eggs to this, but one at a time. And these are at room temperature, so that way they mix together a little better. But make sure after you put one egg in, you mix it up a bit, then add the second one and mix it as well to make sure that it gets blended through and the yolk gets broken up properly and everything is incorporated into your original mixture. Now, after this, we are going to add two cups of bananas to this. Now, you can mash these up before you put them in. Or in my case, I just cut them in small pieces because my mixer is going to break them up because they're very ripe. And the best bananas to use for this are ripe ones. They're going to be a little mushy to begin with, but your mixer will take care of that as you're working through this. So there's no need to go ahead and just mash them up completely. But I put them in about a cup at a time and I just let the mixer chop them as it goes. And it does a great job with that. So there's no need to actually have to take them, mash them and do the whole nine yards of doing all that. Just go ahead and let it chop it up for you. And like I said, I put them in a cup at a time. And we're gonna mix this until it is completely mixed through and all the bananas are chopped up, which you can turn your mixer up on higher speed so that way it will take these out quite easily. Now once you get everything mixed up, we're going to add our dry ingredients right into this bowl. Now a lot of people would do this in a separate bowl. If you choose to do that, that's perfectly fine because all you're going to do is add the dry ingredients, mix them up, and then dump them in on top of this. So I'm going to add them in in a way that works for me. So we're going to start out with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and add this a little at a time if you have to to get it mixed through. Um, depending on the size of your bowl, you might have been able to dump it all in. My bowl was kind of like... A medium large bowl so it can only handle so much if you had like a jumbo extra large bowl you could have just thrown it all in at once and then use your mixer to go ahead and pull all of this into the wet and get it really going before we add anything else to it All right, so to this, we are gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda and then run the mixer again. And now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and again, mix it so that way it's incorporated. And our last ingredient we're putting in here is a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And at this point, you need to make sure that everything gets pulled into this. So that way, you just run your mixer as much as you can. Because the only other thing we're going to add to this in a minute is nuts, which I'm using walnuts in mine. Um, some people have said you can use pecans if you want. Um, what I do with mine is I use three-fourths cup of chopped walnuts, but I reserve a few of them just to put across the top. So, you know, just a handful of them to save to put on top of it. The rest of them go into the mix. So now we're going to dump in the nuts and just use a spatula to fold them into it. So that way they get distributed. So 
So now we're gonna take a baking dish to put this in. Mine is like a four by eight and I'm coating it with cooking spray just to make sure this doesn't stick. It usually doesn't, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And then we're gonna pour our mixture into the baking dish. Now, if you have not heated your oven, it needs to be up to 350 degrees. Cause like I said, this is gonna be in there about like 55 minutes. You may need a little additional time depending on how hot your oven gets because some people's ovens run hotter than others. So get all your ingredients out of your bowl into the baking dish and smooth the top of it. And then we're gonna add those extra nuts on top because as this is baking, they're gonna stay on top and it's just gonna look really cool as an effect when it's on there. And when it's done, it looks something like this and it has such an amazing taste. And it's something that really is a great to serve for breakfast, lunch, whenever. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and at bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.